Welcome, I will be reacting to Star Trek The Animated Series, Season 2, Episode 4. This is not a market substitute. Support the original on Paramount+. Plus. Engage. Yes, sir. Commander Demos. I have here a warrant for the arrest and trial of one of your party, Captain. Warrant? What? Who? Read it, Captain. You are hereby directed to surrender for trial by the people of Dramia, Dr. Leonard McCoy, medical officer, USS Enterprise. This is some kind of joke. What? According to this, Dr. McCoy was responsible for a plague which ravaged the planet Dramia II some 19 years ago, Captain. Let me see that. Bones. No. His trial will tell, Captain. Trial. You mean kangaroo court? I've heard about Draymond Justice. Captain, you're becoming emotional. It's probably a desk, but it kind of looks like a bathtub to me. Otherwise, the architecture is quite good. Guard! What now, Captain? Some pre-trial investigation, Mr. Spock, on Dramia II. The historical records of this solar system are spotty at best, going back 19 years, of unknown origin, characterized by pigmentation changes in skin of victim, debilitation, death. Mm. Certain species known to have natural immunity, notably Vulcan. Hmm. hmm, interesting. It's a cute little ship. Are we gonna have a Miranda situation? This whole world's dead for no reason. You're sure it's safe, Captain? Absolutely. Shouldn't you at least wear protective suits just in case? Or the belt thing that has the projected force field? At least that. I mean, I wouldn't beam down to a plague planet in just my uniform. I mean, I guess you could argue that the pattern buffer in the transporter will have your original non-plagued self. Oh, this is interesting. The most enchanting place I've they ever took been to. the same well, architecture, so reinterpreted them as ruins. That's brilliant. Because you can tell it's the same alien architecture, just run down. Caution would seem to be advisable, Captain. Bones' life is on the line, Mr. Spock. <laughs> he attacked you because you are an Earthling, Captain even as was McCoy. But how did he survive the plague? He, like the others who remain here, was away at the time. They returned to their planet to find that their families had succumbed to the plague. There were no actual survivors. You are wrong. There was a survivor. I, Koltai, survived. People all about me becoming blue in color, then green, and finally red. Dr. McCoy, do you remember him? The Earth Doctor. He saved my life. He treated me for Saurian virus. A man who saves does not also kill, Commander. A witness. Can we get him back to the trial? We want him to be a sterling witness. Why do I get the feeling something's going to go wrong? I'm getting nervous. Cold tie is turning blue. Plague. How did he survive this long and Set then suddenly the get it? Lieutenant. We do place a value on life, all life. Does that shock you, Commander? It is not that. It is... Captain, you're... blue. You know how early I was like, you probably shouldn't just beam down to a plague planet without any protection. <gasps> Uhura! It's gonna be everyone except Spock. Are there other aliens on board that would be unaffected? Is it just Vulcans? Everyone on board has perished at the end of 24 hours. The ship will self-destruct in, in order to protect 
other beings from the disease on board. Good. Report to sick bay, Mr. Sulu. But, sir, who will monitor? I assure you, I am capable, Mr. Sulu. It's actually really handy that it's Spock because he'll be able to stay logical and keep his head even when all his friends are dying. I don't think a human could. You must release Dr. McCoy temporarily. He is needed to find an antidote. No. We have a witness in McCoy's behalf. If their ultimate goal is to just have McCoy stand trial and then be convicted, isn't that basically the same outcome? I don't understand why this alien is fighting it. If anything, it would be poetic justice to send him up to the ship and have him perish from the very disease that they thought he caused, which, I mean, he didn't. You're sure oh, I no, can't green. infect the planet, Captain. And There's only I one more color left. <laughs> Spock! What in the world? Later, Doctor. Just come with me, please. No, Spock. It's illegal. That's what it is. Besides, I must stand trial. I have to find out. After you've found an antidote for the plague which is about to kill everyone aboard the Enterprise. Plague? Why didn't you tell me? There's got to be something with that original alien's seeming immunity to the first plague but falling for the second one. There was that other thing he was inoculated for. Could they see what was in that inoculation, maybe? Aurora. Changing. Color. Jim. Feed in the data without mentioning the color change symptoms. There was an aurora 19 years ago, I remember. Which brought on the particular plague, just as this aurora has brought it on. A man you treated for saurian virus? Yes, I think I do. Cole Tide did survive the first plague. Hurry before they turn red. That's a good sign. Bones, you did it. Again. I think you have a new fan, Bones. He's gonna want your autograph. We will even forget about the uh, unorthodox manner of your release, Doctor. And we'll forget about a certain stowaway. This was a really intriguing episode. I kind of wish it was a two-parter. At first, I thought we were going to get one of those typical Star Trek trial episodes. You know the ones I mean. So I was surprised when it switched over to being more of a medical mystery and trying to figure out why the plague happened. And then once they did that, how to fix it and cure all these people. And I loved the color shifts that were happening and that eventually being the clue that they needed. And also the teamwork that went on between Spock, Bones, and Kirk figuring it all out. The moment that really struck me though is when Spock came to get Bones out and the doctor was like, legally, I'm supposed to be here. So while I appreciate the rescue, I'm staying here and doing what's right. And it wasn't until Spock was like, yeah, well, the entire crew was dying. So we were gonna need your help that Bones went, all right, I'm, I'm totally there. It would have been almost disappointing if Spock had shown up and the doctor just instantly went. It was just a really honorable moment for him to say, no, I'm staying here in jail because that's what's correct. That's the legal thing to do. And we want to honor this planet and their legal system, however flawed it might be. Overall, this was a really compelling episode. Definitely up there in the top animated series stories for me.